Hey, hey, welcome back. Anyone out there, say good day. Going to do our afternoon session, so we'll probably smash a couple of hours. And we're just continuing on what we were doing before. So we've, I'll play through the last, I won't go through the whole last scene, but I'll show you just that last little bit of what we've done. Because uh, the rest, oh, actually, I'll go back and show you this stuff as well. Um, so we'll just play through just some stuff that we did in the last session just so you can wrap your head around what we're up to and, yeah, to see where we're headed. So welcome. And uh, here we're going to go full screen on Pro Tools. And actually, why don't we just go full screen on the projector and you can watch what we got going on here. Are you guys ready to get schizophrenic? Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Trust me, bro. Trust me. Don't trust anyone. Um, this isn't the bathroom. What the fuck is that? The question is that this gun's winging me out. I have an upward. Ha <laughs> ha! Turned it off so that it would sound better. Uh, what did you miss? So, what did I say? So, we filtered. Yes. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. I'm so professional. It's all right. I'm new to this. It's an, Anyway, uh, so yeah, so we got this scene where we filtered out the music, but it obviously gets filtered in as she opens the door and stuff. There's a bottle clink and all that sort of stuff, just to show that there's a party. Thanks, mate. Long. Appreciate it, B-Foot. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Um, this isn't the bathroom. Uh, and as I said, we cut to the outdoor scene, and he rips a bong, and then we'll show you the next little bit. I have... An upward curve, man. That's a commodity. <coughs> Joy. What a bitch. <coughs> what the fuck is this? <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, so that's what we got up to. Uh, just some cool scenes in there. One thing I'm going to quickly do that's a commodity. is we're going to cut the ambiences for this section here. There's, it'll be jarring uh, if we – let's just select that area there. it would be more jarring if we cut to silence. We want to like – it's that kind of quick pace, lots of happening. That's a commodity. Yeah, it just adds a little something there. A little something, something. Just going to bring that. Actually, no, that was right. I'm just going to take off that last frame. <coughs> Sounding good. Thanks, mate. Thanks, b it. Love it. What a bitch. <coughs> what the fuck is this? <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cool. So some of these like the these um some of these sounds, we're gonna put lots of reverb, even delay on them just to make them big and bombastic. At the moment we're not gonna bother that. We'll do that more in the mix stage. Uh so at the moment we're just gonna keep going through and doing all our sounds. Now we do have, okay, for a while we have just music. So we've got level up here. 
level up. Level up. Level up. I wonder if we could add like a coin ka sound or something, some gaming. Oh, we got, let's see what gaming sound effects we got. So we're using SoundSnap if you haven't been with us before. SoundSnap is just a blur, can't talk, subscription based website. It's got its flaws, but it's pretty good. There's a lot of stuff on there. Um, yeah, so let's just see what we got. Got something coming up for, to visit us, I think. Oh, sorry, I should be on the this screen, eh? Let's see what we got. Level up. Let's try level up arcade, maybe. Level up. I don't know, we got stuff here. What's this? Kind of cool. Try that. That's kind of cool too. Let's give them both a bit of a try. Okay. Just going to bring these out a little bit so we can see them. So I'm just pressing option control up and down. Just shoot them all up. There we go. Bigger. Level up. Oh, we need to just find Level up. Mm, I don't know if that one's going to work well. Level up. Maybe. Level up. Nah, I don't like that. Let's try the other one, the other ka -ching. Come on. Alt tab. Go to the right one. Alt tab. There we go. Might just check this straight after the level up. Surprised he doesn't have any like text on the screen or anything. Level up. I wonder if a coin sound would be cooler. Like a Mario vibe. It's still, yeah, it doesn't seem in sync. No, we're all good. Okay. That wide, that sound is very wide. Well, we're going to just bring out, bring in the pan. We just don't need it that wide. And the thing is, there's not much happening on the, on the screen, so I don't know if that's gonna work. can just add more of these dudes. We could even pitch the second one up a bit. Maybe not quite as much. So we're going to go maybe, let's go 88% to be exact. Go really quick. We can obviously like we'll manipulate these bits of dialogue. We'll put some sounds on them and stuff. We might even pan some of them around a bit. Even some of these were like, let's go. What if we try? Let's just go. 
let's try something a bit different. Let's go. We're going to go. Auto tune. Let's see what it sounds like. T Pain style. Bonus round. 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 Maybe a tenor. Bonus round. Roof burn. Bonus round. Let me try UAD's version. We like the T Pain vibes. Bonus round. Bonus round. Bonus round. Bonus round. It's much of a muchness, really. Bonus round. Bonus round. Let's go that and then we're going to pitch this one up, see if we can. The idea is just to make it trippy as. So we can go, this is what it'll sound Bonus like. round. Bonus round. Draw up an octave. Bonus round. Bonus round. That's the uh, most. Bonus round. Bonus round. It's kind of cool. Bonus round. So we go full wetness. Then we got the two of them, so we can go. Bonus round. It's a bit muddy now, though. Might even do the trick we did before, so we're gonna go. Bonus round. Bonus round. Bonus round. Might just slightly shift that one and slightly shift that one. So now, Bonus round. what we'll do then is also. So we got three versions of this, all slightly different pitch. So we just got a bit of width there. Change it up, why not? I feel like this one needs a pitch down. I know we're doing a lot of pitch up and down, but it just works with this trippy, trippy stuff. I go past the simple pitching. There we go. <laughs> Level up. Level up. Level up. Wonder if it just go. Level up. Level up. Level up. Uh, crack. Level up. Yeah. Let's try full just down an octave. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Maybe even just this one could be pitched on its own, just ever so slightly down. Uh, just so it's a bit more. Level up. Level up. Make it sound a bit bigger. Level up. E. Level up. That's cool. Oh, lay it on me, papi. Might just clean this one up. 
So he's getting water. Uh, sorry, he's getting booze pa- poured all over him. So we might have to add. We might go through and add some of these sound effects. Say good day, guys. If you're watching the stream, got any questions or more importantly, if you got some cool ideas flowing, I'm here and want to hear them. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, experiment. I'm keen to hear what you got to say. Oh, lay it on me, papi. 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 Mellow's back. Oh, lay it on me, papi. What up, mate? Oh, lay it on me, papi. Oh, lay it on me, papi. Oh, lay it on me. Mate, you've missed some action. Nah, not too much. It's all right. Oh, lay it on me, papi. So, what are your thoughts, Melo? How much of this? So, obviously, we'll have a stereo version of the track. It'll sound a bit better. But do we need glitching and stuff? And do we fill all this with foley? Or do we let just the music sing in this bit? Because really, we've it's a small budget and we've already done a lot. But we do start having dialogue and stuff, so we might need something in there. We're gonna need something, right? Definitely, definitely needs a whoosh past, past, whoosh past at some point, as in like just throughout. Like even here, I guess we could add some like. Yeah, I guess we could be like adding static and other stuff. I'm just wary of how much time we've got to put in this project, but we still got, got a long way to go. Um, we could add a whole bunch of like just weird sounds like when he, put, when he puts the goggles on we could put on a suction sound or something or what do you think should we just go hard with the weird sounds and stuff and then maybe you could put in a whoosh there Yeah, that could work. Like a cork pop. If we get some of these weird sounds, we'll just get a couple of different wishes. It could all work. Actually, that's pretty cool. We could maybe do that into into this first little bit. Nice little riser. What's our end points? We can obviously like have the music maybe get bigger as it pops into, as it pops into the weird state. Uh, let's go. Did I say cork? Maybe a cork pop or something. Or more like a bubble pop. That's kind of cool. Or that, actually, that's kind of cool. We could have it like he's pulling the elastic or something real cartoon-like. That two cheese. Or is it the perfect amount of cheese?
Anyone else watching out there? Join the chat. Want some ideas? I need to feed off your energy. I'm going to fall flat otherwise. So we've got tab the transient on there. So we're going to tab the transient. And if we go comma, uh, sorry, command comma, that'll put our, we've got a little marker down here. So what we can do is we can just, oh, wait a minute. Is that the right sound? There we go. Why did it do that? That was weird. Here we go. So we go to our point where he sticks him on his face. We're almost there. And if we press control shift and click the file, it'll put that there. The marker right on that frame. Okay. So what we're going to do though is we're going to get this squeak that's probably blowing your ears out and we're going to put it right there where he kind of pulls those off his head and then the pop. And put a little. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Anyone else? I was in the right spot. It's nice and noisy. Oh, you're live. Lol, was watching your latest YouTube video. Bald as. I like it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's live, bro. Twitch is live. Or you were watching YouTube and then you were like, oh, wait, he's live. Yeah, mate, we're all live here. So you can ask questions. You can tell me I'm doing it wrong. You can give me ideas. That's what I'm here for. We're doing this as a team. I should probably uh, get you and all, all you guys a credit for hanging out, eh? I was about to comment asking why don't you use Soundly. Ah, so I do have Soundly. Um, I do have Soundly and that's a great question. I don't. I normally just go straight to, because obviously this is a library that's online, it's um, SoundSnap, and so I'm just downloading, which I've probably got a lot of these sounds already on my computer, and I should probably get them organized and use Soundly first and search on my computer before I just get stuff. But to be honest, while I've got the subscription, I just keep downloading from SoundSnap, and then I will, like I keep chucking, everything I download obviously goes into the audio folder of Pro, Pro Tools, but I then also grab all those and put them in a separate folder. And so one day if I decide to stop my subscription, all the sounds that I've ever downloaded, which I am allowed to use after the fact, are going to be in a, a folder and I can use Soundly. And, and the long-term plan is to get some, like I've been chatting with the guys over the last week of streaming and there's other people who've got some great libraries that um, – that are just more quality and I'd rather have less quality, less and more quality than just, they've got huge quantity, excuse me, on sound snap, but it's, you know, you got to fish through a lot of stuff to get to the good stuff. And even then you still have to treat it and whatever, but you know, there's good sounds in there. So what do we think? We like the real on the nose, cheeky vibe. I might even move that across one frame. There we go. That's good. That feels right. I think that might be a bit early. Maybe like a female laugh. We get some weird female laugh while she's dancing. Maybe. I'm only asking because I find the drop and drag workflow with Soundly uh, simply time saving. Yeah, well, it's because I'm just downloading it directly. So basically, I just find the sound I want. It's just, uh, that's kind of cool in there. So what I'm doing is downloading, literally downloading straight to my downloads folder. Uh, this is just straight online and then I'm just grabbing that and I can just drop and drag that straight in. Um, I find it's reasonably quick. You're right, sound is better. You can do other stuff. You can't, you can manipulate the sound stuff before you bring it in too, right? <laughs> Maybe she's. Uh, we might, because we'll probably treat all this stuff anyway. We're going to put reverbs and stuff on and make it all trippy. But for now, we're not going to mix any of that stuff. We'll wait until we get to the mix stage. Maybe we just skip some of those. Probably too much. 
So we had that in reverb. Maybe we can even like pitch it down and make it real trippy as. Love it. Love the, the, old, the old pitch down trick. It does just sound like a dude now. Weaver's back. Join the conversation. G'day, everyone. Say hello to each other. Tell you what, tell us where you're from, what you do. Bald as, tell us a bit about yourself. What do you do? Your postman, where's your studio? Who do you work for? I believe Soundly can only manipulate pitch. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, I've already set up. Uh, what's this called? Elastic audio. <laughs> Do you need a well-maintained library for search as it's local, not an online shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely used Soundly before, but home studio, freelance sound designer, commercial stuff mainly. Uh, nice. Where are you based? Portugal, sick. So do you, when you say uh, freelance sound designer, do you do like mixing and stuff as well? Like, as in you'll dialogue edit, add sound effects and mix? Yeah, pretty much right about now, social distance and all. <laughs> guys just doing some stuff anyway all right good pretty much all right so what are we doing <laughs> if we reverb that out what do you reckon a bit of a laugh or is that <laughs> or do we leave a gap do we leave a gap maybe chuck it in later had a swig before let's find that swig this scene is hard because i like uh, i feel like it's begging for you to either slap crap all over every cut, make it really disorientating, or just turn the music up and let it go with some delays on the Vox grabs. Yeah, that's originally what I was thinking is doing the latter, just because also budget and time. I just like if I spend forever on all this stuff, I'll never get the project finished. And we've also, we've already done some of that and we're going to do more of it anyway. So how about we just let it go into that? So let's trip. So we boost the music at that point, which at the moment I've only got mono versions of the track, so there's no point fluffing about with it. So we let it whoosh into it and then we just let the music go nice and banging. And then we can maybe do a bit of tripping out of the dialogue. Maybe we can pan it around a bit and do some like reverbs and delays and stuff. Same situation here in Canada. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Mello. Bit of a pitch down on the laughs, delay and stuff. Yeah, that's originally what I was doing, but I agree with Weaver. Like, it's probably just going to get too much if every cut has got something there. But I've already gone pretty hard in other sections. I think we can just let the music sing a bit here. 
Yeah, you've been more than gracious for this project. Appreciate that, Weaver. Should we, could we maybe put in some swooshes or like even in this, maybe like, maybe like a tape record rewind kind of vibe or something in there maybe. Just to kind of, I think we might need something in there just to make it feel a bit more quick paced. Need an old school tape sound. Like that kind of vibe. That's. That. Need that kind of vibe without the extra sound design. Got a little Fight Club 90s action flick stuff. Get a little 90s, uh, Fight Club 90s action flick stuff. Uh, what are you thinking? I don't, I haven't seen that movie in so long. I wouldn't know what you're talking about. Uh, like that kind of vibe. That's kind of long too, so we can, we can add that in. Yeah, that cool. Oh, I actually like that's already tripped out. That's cool. Saves us some time. That's kind of cool too. It's getting very warm in the studio again. All right. I have to turn some air con back on. All right. So we want second level up, and then we're going to have it glitching out. Might just cut up. Cut off a bit of the front. Actually, how far do we want it to twit to glitch? Oh, that's hurting the errors. <laughs> Might slow it, pitch it down a little bit so it's. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm in the wrong section. Level up. Whoa. You mentioned the model. Oh, what's this? Sorry. Uh, you mentioned the model before, but I've forgotten. What size were your monitors? Uh, they are. What are they? It's a good question. <laughs> it should say on there. The AML ones. Um, why is that? Am I mixing too heavy or too thin? Is that what you mean? Uh, BMC AML ones. These old dudes. Look at that. Look at that for a delicious retro speaker. So good. They look awful and awesome at the same time. So what what size are they? They're like a five and a half or something, are they? Or uh, driver units? What's that? Using an, an LFE. Yes, I've got the matching sub. Uh, is there any link to it? I don't know if it has a direct link here, but. Let me see. What does it say? ML1 sub. Let's see. It's got its own model number. 
Let's go images. This could be dangerous. Um, I'll go look at it. Was it the TLE one? So it's like a dual. I've got it in the matching color, but it's like a dual. Same. I think the speakers in this are the same as what's in the mains, but there's two of them. It goes reasonably low, but I do have a second. Excuse me. I've got a second sub from an old system, a JBL system, and sometimes I turn that on just to get some real low rumble, just depending on the sec, the movie and the client and stuff. Makes them get excited. Down to 33 hertz. I know. PMCs are wonderful. Yeah, it's crazy. So the, did you see, so in the, um, what did it say? There's something like, so because of this ALT business, um, it's just uh, it's something crazy that the amount of room or distance the air travels or whatever, it's crazy. Anyway, worth checking them out. But they're, you know, they're very old school. I, I think I, the only reason I got them was because I got a sweet deal on all of them. Are they 6.5 inches? That sounds about right. I think so. I'll get a ruler out, but I can't be stuffed. Find out and let me know. How are the lows on those babies? Yeah, they're pretty sweet. Um, I want to get some like room correction stuff for them. They do, they do go pretty low. It's pretty good. Yes, they are. 6.5 inches. Thanks, lads. They were a big step up. I used to have the JBL LSR. Originally, I had the 8-inch ones in stereo, but then I went to... No, I had the 5-inch ones in 5.1, and then I went to replace them with the 8-inch ones. And then these came up. I thought it was time for a real upgrade. And then I was going to buy some like um, the cheaper focals, the cheaper model focals. And then these came up and I just snatched them on an auction site. So I was pretty right with that. Cool. All right, let's keep moving on. Got to get the work done, eh? Oh, let's just find out. Whoa, whoa. I think I'm going to cut all the gaps. Let's see. Level up. I wonder when. We don't need it the whole time, right? It's going to get a bit tedious. I wonder if we can move this back a little bit. So we can have that sound effect more. I've got like a gaming ping sound. This is a bit of a transition. Maybe we can just start having some gaps in this and just depending on what's going on. Maybe on a, a change of shot or whatever. Oh, before, so he opens his glasses. We had a whipping sound from before when he pulled his glasses up. So let's go back and get that again, I reckon. Let's do that. Crack of the whip over here. We're going to bring him back over here. Where are they? Just weird stuff like that. Let's keep that going all the way to the whoosh. That'll be a good way to cut it, to get rid of it. Maybe we could try pitching it right down as well. Everybody, 
The only problem is then what do we do there? We keep we keep adding it in. Maybe we could have a slow build in there or something to some sort of slow build maybe that kind of gives you that sense of about to level up. Maybe what was this synthetic one that we had before? Why you talking up shit? Is there nothing pretty? Everything you say. Something like this. For this scene here. Before level up. Because we do have one at the very start. Oh, sorry, we've lost picture. Thanks, Pro Tools. We've got that. We could make that bigger as well. So here I've got LFE. I'm just going to get a little bit of juice. There's not going to be an LFE because it's just a stereo mix, but I'm going to send it anyway because then if we've got 5.1, then we've got the LFE, but also it will feed into the stereo a little bit. I've got um, some, I've got low, low air on there, so it'll make it a bit more lovely. So you're suggesting we have one before this level up? Maybe it's a build up. <laughs> Problem is we gotta go even harder again. We could have a bit more of a slower fade in on this. Build up. That's it. La la la. Me no English. Shouldn't have repeated that. <laughs> Maybe we can add the the laugh in here. The laugh that we had before, because uh, the girl's kind of dancing. Maybe we could chuck that in if we put some delay on it. Like leave this, uh, it's not in there. Or did I spell it wrong? There we go. Laugh is there. Sorry, sometimes my English sucks. All good, mate. It's my first language and I'm terrible at it, let's be honest. I don't know why I'm just picking a random bit of laugh. I should actually listen well, to I it. Like That's friggin' lazy. <laughs> Where are we? Get out of it. I hate it. I press enter and I'll lose my spot. Bad. It's annoying. Okay, let's listen to some laughs. <laughs> I could make it all glitchy too. <laughs> Just do a bit of like one of these. Maybe that, maybe not quite as much. <laughs> Too many.
We need to add bigger swishes in there, I think, as well. Let's get these ones. Oh, it's a TV. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Wrong bit. Reverse reverb on the laughs. Yeah, sick. I'm going to definitely, what I'll, I will do, let's do reverse on there, but I will be doing like, I won't worry about it now, but I'm going to treat all this stuff with extra reverbs and delays and stuff in the mix and stuff. I'm going to keep saying and stuff. But let's do, let's go what you are suggesting, reverse. Let's just do a mono one. So we go render that in reverse. Want to add a bit of a D, uh, reverb to it. Hmm. Let's go vintage verb. <laughs> Two channels. I oh, get out of it. Let's do it like that. And reverse that back. Too much. What? Are you serious? This is why I have you here. Weaver said, unsure if you know, but you don't actually have to reverse the source first. At the bottom of the plugin window, you can just click reverse. Are you serious? How many times I reckon I've done that? Oh my goodness. Right, does that work for all reverbs? So we're going to go reverb. Let's go back to vintage verb. Oh, there's a reverse button. Does that, so does that reverse everything? I'm going to click it. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let's, sorry, let's get back out. Let's, <laughs> probably went too hard. Let's go reverse. Oh my goodness. Oh, Weaver, you friggin' legend. Someone clip that. Say, uh, we need a, we need a hashtag or a, I showed you noisy post or Benny Knopf. I don't know what you want to go. We need someone clip it. Cause Weaver, you nailed that. So on Twitch, make a clip. Are you kidding me? What, that I haven't known that all this time. How am I meant to know there's a reverse button clearly at the very bottom of that plugin window? Or are you in the same boat, Mello, that you didn't know that this whole time? Please tell me I'm not the only one who didn't pick up the fact there's a bloody reverse button. Somebody clip it. Clip it, damn it. Twitter. I mean, Twitch. Clip it on Twitch. There should be just a clip, clip button. Does anyone who's watching right now know about Twitter and clips? Clip that stuff. Safari doesn't like Twitch clips. Someone else has to clip it. Lol. There you go. Someone else who's not on Safari. No, I didn't know that either. Oh my goodness. Weaver, saving the day. I have no idea how to clip. Uh, well, it's probably too late now anyway. What do we want? Twitch, TV noisy post. Well, there's clips there. This is on mine. This is obviously the front end, but there's got to be a, there you go, clips, Alt X, and it will clip. I don't know what else you need to do, but press Alt X, and if you can type in a new title or anything like that, be foot to the rescue. I'm clipping. It's great. Now I've gone on about clipping too much. The clip's going to suck because I'm going to clip this, clip that. Thanks, B-Foot. You're a legend. Uh, put Weaver, 
Weaver Audio, maybe even if you can tag him, I don't know, saves the day. We showed Benny, hashtag we showed Benny or something. Crap, too far back for me. Uh, that's all right. That's so freaking sick. If I could digitally kiss you, I would. Let's go. We don't need too much of it, do we? We want it to be pretty bright. Let's open that up. We don't need too much noise. Oh, mess down the bottom. Let's go. Oh, you got to select two clips. All right. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Yeah, mate. Great. Yeah, you deserve... Oh, sorry, I didn't press reverse. Baldaz definitely deserves a bit of love there for uh, coming up coming up with the idea. I've used that back in the day a lot for, like, more scary films and stuff. It's always a handy little trick. It kind of works with everything that the white, swoosh, the white noise swooshes that are happening in the background as well, so that's cool. Good work, mate. You can't audition it though, so I guess it can be a bit harder. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. I think it's a that I I will use that a million times over now, especially in this film. Like we should be using that a bit more. In fact, should we go hard and go boop? Put it on the. We need it more obvious, eh? Let's go mix. Get it more of a mix. Make it go a bit longer. Reverse. What about one of those? What do you reckon? We need to have a guitar solo a bit there, right? We can't not go add some guitar in there. Sold. I'll take the lot. What, all the praise? Yeah, mate. Mello's got his own preset because he gave me a sick tip on Revive the other day. So he's now forever going to be famous in this stream. We've already used it again today, Mello, just in case you're watching. Uh, what do we want? Guitar. Uh, what do you call it, guys, when you really rip a long screechy note? Awesome, Mello says. How about an unplugged guitar string sound? <laughs> like a drink, drink, drink. Uh, let's go electric. Yeah, like out of tune, really gross out of tune, kind of blink, blink, blink. Yeah, that'd be sick. Let's see what there is. I'm just going to be real bland, uh, real open. Nope. I got mates who can play guitar. Maybe I should get them to come and just do some. Even something like that could kind of work. Let's download it just in case. Out of tune guitar. I'm loving this, guys. Good feedback. That's an acoustic, but does that still work? It's cool. Yeah, nice. Weaver taught me how to... I don't know what the rest of that says, but that's awesome. Pinch harmonics. Yeah, would give you that guitar solo lead. Yep, 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 yep. Do we, do we go like that or ukulele? That's kind of cool too, right? Uh, all right, pinched. Pinched harmonics. Oh, that ukulele is good. All right, ukulele just, we want it to be trippy and weird, right? It's great. I love it. And what, we speed it up or pitch it up? <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that was a joke. Uh, well, that, what? Oh, sorry. Well, the joke is that he's hammered, so he doesn't notice. That's not good. I'm going to go, let's go just mono. We don't need it in stereo. I'm going to keep this reverb here because we're going to use that a lot, I think. 
Reverse reverb. Just need to make sure my pan's all good. Yep. Oh no, we needed the other side. That was clearer. What if we distort it a bit? It's got to be in the right key, doesn't it? Or is it better when it's not? That's weird. Why not update live? Anyone else feeling ill right now? Itch. That's not the one I want. Damn it. Oh, that's so good. So you like it? You like the... Needs to be faster though. Let's go time shift. I like that. I like the gargling of the gargliness, the artifacts we get. It makes it even more gross. Oh wait, that changed. Oh sorry, that's the pitch. That's not what we want anyway. Ugh. We want it to be in time with the music. Too fast, is it? It's that kind of works, doesn't it? That's in time. It sounds gross. Should we should we pitch one down an octave? Uh, no, we want to keep that at. Let's go. Oh, not that many octaves. Spend the time making things sound awful. <laughs> Spending time making things sound awful. Yeah, it's so true. Uh, what have we said? Uh, you're going to have to slice the notes. Spend time making things sound awful. Should we do a normal electric solo as an alt? Yeah, let's give it a crack, eh? Uh, do we go pinched harmonics? <laughs> Guitar solo pinch. No, they uh, let's go harmonics without the pinched because they might maybe they haven't explained it properly. Damn it! Guitar solo. Let's just go guitar solo. What about both? Oh, come on. Seriously, I got mates who would smash one out. Unless I go, actually, let's go back to the pinched harmonics because I could just, like, copy and paste it. We could just go use a combination of two. Just Maybe we can pitch it, make it. Well, we should put it probably in the right key, maybe. No? This doesn't matter if he's only hit it once. One mine is still blown about the reverse button. I really need to read those what's new documents when the update comes out. So that's only a new feature. I reckon I've seen the reverse a long time but just never thought about what it does. But I could be wrong. Is that a new feature? Oh, the third guitar. Those notes are repeated. 
Oh, those notes on repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go, what, between the two of them? Just... Let's mute this because we're going to try the other thing. Let's go. We've already got the D. Let's try the G. Did we change? Yeah, we went to 86%. Let's go to 86%. So at least they're meant to technically. Oh, what's going on? My scrolly didn't work. Just go between the two. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool, actually. Needs to just be in time, though. He's actually hitting that in time, so... Could we just keep... Doing this, obviously with fades and, come on, no, I'll have to time it. Needs to be further up, maybe, I don't know. Needs to fade off before it hits the next note, right? That neat thing. Obviously, my timing sucks, and I'm used to be. Well, I'm a drummer as well. That's awful, Ben. That sounds about right. So, if we go get out of it, get out of it. If we just go, let's fade that one out as well at that point. No, we can't. Do yes, 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 yes. And then we're going to go you out as well and then we just grab those two and just go ah oh, get out of it duplicate like that on repeat and obviously with fades sort of between them so that they it's not full choked no Sounds fake and gross, but no. I wish you were on Euro time, lol. It's 5 a.m. here and I'm nearly falling asleep. What are you doing at 5 a.m., bro? That's it. That's it. So that's what you're thinking, but multiple of them. Kind of following what his hand's doing. Is it? Does it need to? Ah, oh, far out. How do I get back to where I was? This, I saw a thing the other day. And it tells you how to get back. I just press enter by accident and it's taking me all the way back to zero. Ugh. You want it to sound that gross and fake? Do we think the ukulele is going to... Obviously, I could finish that off and make it sound better, but are the uke, is the uke better? What if I add some distortion to that? Because I've got like... Let's go, let's just add a third layer of that and then let's go effects. I thought, no, I do, I do. It's under distortion. Um, oh, what the heck? How do you search? Should be able to search. I've got instruments. No, what is it under? No. No, sounds that won't work. There, what, uh, I've got, what's the bloody guitar thing I've got? I've got a, um, oh, there's 11 rack. I could use 11 rack. It's, um, must be that you can't, yeah, okay. Let's just use 11 rack. I don't think I've ever used 11 rack. I guess that came out free recently. Is that right? 11 rack mark two. Try that. Sorry, Steinberg user here. Never used PT. Yeah, I bought Nuendo 8 on sale and I use it, I've use it. i used it for like live stream mixing and stuff 
but I'm not. I've, I started using it for a feature film last year and it, I just, I was pretty, I was getting there a little bit, but I just, there's a few things that irked me that I couldn't do easily that I could do in Pro Tools. And I just, I knew the whole thing wasn't like when I was cleaning up dialogue and stuff, just wasn't sounding as good as I knew I could do in Pro Tools, which sounds silly, but it's just like the processes. And I ended up, I lost a whole week, which I guess in the scheme of things isn't huge, but it was like a whole week I was working in Nuendo and there was issues with importing an AF because I had a guy do some track on organization in PT and exported AAF and there was all these little like weird clips before each clip. Just a small little bit of clip of audio. It was almost like that was where the crossfades were or something. I don't know. So I imported it and I had to clean all that up and then did all this stuff. It still wasn't sounding good and I went back to PT, Pro, Pro Tools. So problem was I had to then start paying for ultimate license. I'm paying month by month depending on whether I've got projects that need 5.1 or not. Uh, I think you'll get away with just one note. I think just one note. Don't bother about the hand. Cool. I was hoping you'd still be going. Hey, Benko, what's up? Welcome back. I uh, had a break, but yeah, we got back into it. Different workflow, definitely. I've started with Cubase, but in college, uh, back in college and just stuck with Steinberg. Mate, Nuendo, even I've, I should upgrade to 10 and get used to it because there's just so much stuff in there that Pro Tools, you don't get standard in Pro Tools. It's a shame that Pro Tools is the industry standard. Just ask them. Avid annoy me so much and I also... Like, I just love Pro Tools. Not even I love Pro Tools. I'm just so, I don't know, used to it. Actually, until they brought out the S1s as well, I was, like, pretty keen to move to New Endo and maybe even look at getting a New Arge or something, even though that's old. Because New Arge is a sick console and it works great with New Endo. Uh, and then when they brought out the S1s and I thought a dock S1 combo would be pretty sick um, with Pro Tools. The new loudness track on Cubase Nuendo, perfect for visual content. Yeah, it's very sweet. The metering, actually control room on Nuendo is so good. The fact that Pro Tools still doesn't have like control room is ridiculous. It's basically like, um, is it Xmon or whatever, but in the software, so good. All right, so we're all agreeing that maybe I should just not worry about this. Maybe just have a quick. <laughs> Wondering whether I'd get a bit of dirtiness in there. Obviously, the music the music will be heat slider in this section when I actually mix it. Do we like that, or do we still prefer the long screechy note? Ben, what do you reckon? We're tripping things out. You, ben, you're a composer. What do you think? We're just trying to we're trying to add to this trip scene with different sounds and stuff. So what do we think? Do we like that or do we like just a long ass? I think the other note was a better one. Let me just get that back. I think it was D. Or do we just go? What did I say? I think I had a maybe six-ish or just like a. Or that. What do we think? Just the long guitar note or the crappy ukulele? You like what? I like the crap. You like the crappy ukulele or you like the long guitar note? What, give me some votes, guys. What do we want? Electric guitar or the uke? That's why we're here. It's team effort. Oh, sorry, guys. I need coffee. Does someone want to come to my studio and bring me coffee? Twitch does sound production. I like it. Hashtag that. All 
Okay. Question is, do we leave it at that note or do we want to pitch it up? We want it in the same key, right? Will that do? That'll do. We'll do Ben's head in if it's not in the same key. Up in my sharp, come on. Use your musical ears, you jerk. That reverse <laughs> reverb button is in PT twenty ten PT ten yeah I I seriously I've definitely seen that reverse button before and never friggin' used it as in I never like it's not like I look at it all the time and go I wonder what that's for I just like have seen reverse written there and just not process that I was gonna say more tr uh, tremolo but at this point it's too literal yeah sharper sharper than what sharper than this. Tell me what I'm at 109% wise. Or should I put it on 100 and then tell me how many semitones higher? Or really. I think it's got to be a lot, right? If you want it. He's up the fretboard. It should be like G sharp giving his fingers. Oh, yeah, let's go all literal because, you know, the film. Nah, you're right. We should. But the problem, I don't I want it. will be too short. Yeah, all right. Let's go hard. Too Not long enough now. That's it. As in, you liked it right up there. Nah, but it's it's too short now. I guess I can actually. It's called editing, Ben. It's what you do as a sound guy. Uh, wait, what do we do? What, what was I at then? Crap, damn it, now I've lost it. That? Well, I'm off to bed. Hope you upload this session to YouTube. Yeah, man, I'm trying to do it pretty much straight away. So uh, it'll be up there. You can see the rest of it. But Baldaz, mate, thank you so much for joining us from Portugal. It's huge. All around the world. It's so exciting. All my peeps helping out. See you, mate. Come back, please. Come back. Follow me on Twitch. Chuck that. Press that heart button and it'll follow so you'll get updates when I'm getting back on. Subscribe on YouTube. Tell your mates, please. That sounded desperate. But do tell your mates, I'm here for the hangs, especially with everything that's going on with this virus. We're all going to be just housebound anyway, so you might as well come and hang with me. Uh, it's 
on the end. Boy. Dude, I had a swoosh in there as well. How's that gonna work? Is that even gonna work? Tune sounds in D if that helps. It does because that pinch is in D, but that's what that's what they say. But it's a harmonic, so So we can either go something like that, maybe, or do you just want to go where we, we were in the right spot, weren't we? Don't be such a smart ass. Oh, it's in D. No, it's all good. I'm kidding, mate. We don't really want to hear double hit though, right, do we? We just want to... Uh, let's... That kind of glitch is kind of cool, just a bit. We need that electric guitar. What's the sound when you... What's the electric guitar? What do you call it? What would that be where you like... Pitch dive or something? Pitch something? I don't know. What would you call it? Anyone? Guitarists? We could have that. Whammy dive. Oh, you legend. I'm a drummer. So, well, I was a drummer. So, oh, you don't have one. Guitar. So I'm trying to type with an apple in my hand. It's not really working. Dive. What about whammy? Let's go whammy. Oh, you got to spell it right, you cheat. Oh, is it? Well, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, should we have that? Guitar. Let's put whammy again. See if we get it without the D. No, okay. Pitch, dive. It'll still be guitar though, right? Well, the, the only thing is if it finds pitch, dive. Oh. Nope. Do we get this? Do we just chuck that in as our long note? Make a dirty as? Or have, have we all decided that I'm now just wasting my time? Ah, come on. What do you reckon of that? Dirty and gross? Can maybe pitch it down so it's a bit longer? Or we like what we've already got. All right, let's get this and we'll chuck it in. Sorry, and we're going to go. Can we use a guitar as a transition? We could have a swish in there. It's not very dirty. I could dirty it up, I guess. Loving the attention to detail. Thanks, Ben. Ah, oh, dirty. Whoa. Back. I'm going to undo that. Let's get this a bit lower. Why are you so loud? Let's 
too bright now compared to the other one. I should have checked that. Honestly, I'm going to bag out a colleagues or colleagues. They're not colleagues. Bag out some fellow instant internets peoples. The guys at um, Pro Tools production expert, Pro Tools expert, they freaking love 11 rack. Not really a fan. I've got natives in native instruments, native instruments. What the heck? Where are you? I've not got it installed. What, what am I doing with my life? Why am I missing this? What's native instruments? Native Instruments guitar thing. It's trash. At least you didn't buy the hardware ver version. Well, they love it. And they say, like, because these days you can buy them real cheap because Avid's obviously got a bazillion of them floating around. But I know I've just chucked the sound straight on there and just gone with it. But bloody hell. It just sounds so digital and gross. Might even have to undo that if the distortion actually do it in here. Still so bright. What's going on? I went too hard. Maybe I'll put the same double distortion on this as well. Excuse me. We need to put flashes and stuff, like... We need a wind whoosh or something, right? Whoosh. Sick. More music. Thanks for the follow, mate. Love that. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Get involved. We're all diving in with ideas. What else could we add? Uh, we need something like what? What? What's an alternative to blowing smoke? We need something that's like something that's trippy. That's what we're going for, right? Trippy sounds. Need some glitches, and we need a we need a, like a lights light sting. What would be? What would be a light flash? Early. It's Chris from Facebook. Ah, oh, yeah, we've been chatting, mate. Welcome. We have been chatting, as you say. Hello again, mate. We're all going hard here, just trying to... We're in a trippy sequence, and we're just trying to work out how we're going to do half this stuff. We've got a swoosh. Why do we got... I think I chucked these swooshes in before. I didn't mean... They're not meant to go there. All right. Where were they meant to be? Maybe in there? Transitional thing. No, I don't need those. I think I needed them somewhere. <laughs> need some, we need some, um, what was that cooking show where they always had this symbol, reverse symbol -y crash thing? Um, what was the cooking show in Australia that friggin' everyone loves? 
Bubble Pops. Uh, yeah. You got the right idea, but probably even something less literal. Not like a snake rattle or something, but just something just bizarre. Master Chef, symbol rolls. They love it. Every freaking second, someone smiles. Even their like, eye twitches is like. Sss. Oh, there you go. There's one at the end of it. Andrew Christie did all those symbol rolls. What's that? You need to rewrite that. Is that right? Remote control. I don't get it. I'm sorry, mate. Whew. Remote control. I just sat there and pressing the button. I don't know what you mean. Sorry, mate. Went to university with him. He's a theatre composer. He's from Sony. Oh, and remote control. Oh, these are companies. Oh. I didn't hate. Remote control is a Hans Zimmer studio. Oh, okay. I should know that. I bloody love Hans. Yeah. The rest of the composing, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just all those symbol roles. They're just like, I feel like it actually wasn't him. I reckon it was the editor's. How do you score? And they're like, oh, we need to emphasize this moment. So they're just like chuck in symbol, so symbol swells because legit, they never felt like they were in, meant to be in time, like they weren't in time with the music and stuff. It was in time with the camera shot every time. 100% I reckon it was the editors, not him. Symbol roll. I just need something for... Maybe do we do like a camera flash or something? Do we do a camera flash in that bit? It's the editors, yeah. They just ask for a ton of music and then they just pop it in all over the picture. Yeah, and it's not – I would reckon those cymbal swishes and stuff, they never feel like they're in the right beat with the music and stuff. I reckon they 100% just chuck them in all over the top. Do you think a camera flash? Shall we do a camera ka in this bit? What do you reckon? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Digitized whip, as in we get a whip and then you digitize it. That's pretty cool. We could always, because uh, we could always add reverb and weird stuff to. Maybe even we could reverse this, reverse, reverse reverb this. Whoops. Sorry, that's very loud. I apologise. Very sharp in those ears. Won't let me reverse guitar sound. <sighs> Vintage verb, because it's great. Let's get a mix. We'll brighten it up. Get rid of the bottom end stuff. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Huge space. Ah, wrong button.
Should be lower, right? Let's make it beefier. There we go. More reverb. Ah, oh, come on. None of this two channel business. Thoughts? What about something like a firework? Oh, yeah. Can't even hear it. As in the reverse, that is. Give it a little boost. I guess it's kind of just right where the guitar is noise-wise. Frequency-wise is the word I wanted. Let's try firework crack. I don't know if anyone will understand what it is. This doesn't matter, right? That with the... I kind of like this. I kind of like the spray at the end there. What do you think? Is that what you're thinking? More music? Oh, that. Actually, we need that in there. I like that. This is crazy. We need the whistle in there, right? And it sounds real close as well. Shivers. Let's get rid of this. I don't know, even we could use it a bit. We could use it a bit later as well. Uh, so if we can get a bit in here, have it kind of. That kind of works. All that, even that timing, look at that. So we've got. So we got, we'll cut if we didn't go pop, pop, great, a old bitchiness, and then a pop at the end to go to black. That kind of works, right? You could literally paste that other, uh, the lot and all the sorts of works. Yeah, as in you want me to retime it? I kind of, yeah, I guess it's just a random. I could add some of these. Could add some of these to emphasize like even maybe the main hit. Why did that? That's weird. That is very strange. You see that, guys? Let's go. Let's, oops. That's weird, I've just lost my waveform. Oh, why is that object there? Let's get rid of that. Oh, you know what? That one channel, how do I, so you, you know how you can change your waveform here, up here? How do you change it for a single track? Because that one, uh, here. I can see it's clearly there, but it's just real quiet. How do I change it for that one track? Please, sirs and any madams that may be out there. Hmm. It's super flexible. 
Uh, totally could be used throughout the scene. Good recommendation. I don't think you could. I didn't think you could. Sorry, guys. I'm dyslexic. Uh, you should be able to for the one track, though. I don't get... Anyway, you're right. doesn't matter. We can still see it. So we want to get... Let's just emphasize that main pop there. Might be a bit much having both. I love all the whistles and stuff. It's cool. Maybe we can, maybe can we find a place to introduce it a bit earlier? Make the track larger. You will see the setting. You can choose a clip. Uh, you can choose clip or waveform, etc. No, 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 that's not the issue. So see, see here, you can. It's the waveform view. So if I scroll up, you can actually see it's there. So it is a clip, and it's all there. But compared to everything else, that's real small. So really, that should look like that. So channel FX three, where that one firework crack is at the bottom there that should be that size when everything else is that size. You know what I mean? So it makes no sense that it's that small. So I need to zoom in. Because look, if I copy and paste it into the next one, see that? So I copied and pasted the next one and bam, we've got it back to full size again. You can actually see here... Uh, no, you can't. You can tell... I don't know. Who knows? I need my chat screen somewhere else because my neck is getting stuffed. Stop talking to me, guys. No, I'm kidding. It's awesome. Freaking love it. Love it. All right. Let's just go back and watch a little bit of this and see if there's any other good moments for some fireworks. Even just leading up. Pretty. Everything you say always comes oh, with me. I'm digging my paradise. You do not have it. Whoa. What do you think? What do we think about like as the transition? Any any thoughts on that? We're just getting too hectic, or as hectic good. That's what we want, isn't it? We need a bit more bottom end in this thing, though. I'm going to just do this, and then we're going to go. Let's go LFE. See if we can get a bit more pop. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of low information there, so I'd have to put a sweetener in, but I don't know if I can bother. The video game sound effects throw me a bit, throw me off a bit. Do you mean like this one? That's just the level up business. <laughs> and in here. It was just a transitional thing because he says next round, so you want me to get rid of it? Oh, I understand. Yeah, you, it's in context of him saying level up and, and uh, bonus round. <clears throat> All right, we got Coke Sniff. We have one before. Should we 
go coke sniff all glitched out because that's kind of what's going on there. Uh, it was back here, wasn't it? Yeah, is that it? Renick? <laughs> I love that bit. Track control alt on the track. Okay. Control alt those dudes. Maybe I'll try. Uh, yeah, okay. No, so, yeah, you're right. As in that does all of them. So what if we did with a shift? Oh, there we go. Oh, that reset it. What'd I do? Yeah, nice. Thanks, Ben. All right. So what I did was control, option, command, and you press that dude, whatever, that squarey bracket, and that's reset them all. So now they're all where they should be. So I can then go, as you say, Oh, it's option command on Mac and I can make them bigger or smaller. Thanks, bro. I'm going to mark that. Can someone make a clip of that? Uh, and on Twitch, make a clip of it and just say handy tip for waveforms or something. Waveform scrolling. Does anyone know how to do that? Can you do that for me? Make a clip. That'd be great. It's the little uh, clapper thing at the bottom of the window. Yeah, do that, but you need to zoom all the way out and all the way into reset. No, 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 that's not. No, no, so if I go, if I just zoom down now, if I press control, option, command, and that button, it puts it back in. That's resetting it right there. Yeah? And then you can obviously go up and down after that, which is option, command. Oh, you're just saying, so if you go all the way down, and then back up again, it'll reset it as well. So the uh, control, option, command, and that doodad, the bracket, square bracket, that'll reset it. Ah, I see. Yes, you do. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for the Googling. It's great. We're all learning together. Brilliant. So we've got a whip and a snort. Let's get the snort. Do we want... Uh, Do we need anything else throughout this? I kind of like, we don't need anything really else there. Do we want anything for his blowing there? The Should we do fire? We do flames like, like a flame sound. Yes, do it. I just spoke for all of you guys, by the way. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I smashed the zoom buttons on the D command, uh, D control to reset it. So you're in a D control. You guys didn't upgrade to S6 or you have now or what's the deal? Um, so we'll do a flame thing there. So do we need choking sounds? Is that a bit too aggressive in this bit? Or should we just go with the snort? Let's just go with the snort. In fact, let's try and keep things organized, keep it at the top. Snorts with the glitches. Transition sound between the two tunes could be rad. Yes, good call, Ben. Let's get these two across a little bit. Don't let me forget to do that. So two frames pop. And one frame. Other frame. Great, great ass. Mm. It's not going to work, is it? That sounded awful. 
What if we go long sniff? Uh, the problem is there's that dialogue. We don't want to mask that dialogue. We need something in there, don't we? We do, we do. What if we go... We could always pan the sniff. Or we could pan the dialogue maybe and let's... And leave the sniff in there. Sorry, I keep stopping talking because I'm concentrating on pressing buttons and stuff and I clearly am not good at doing multitasking. What if I go... What if I go... What if we get that and just copy and paste it? Multiple times. Do one of these. Mine's be short, doesn't it? It's not really sharp. The sniff's not very sharp and aggressive, is it? We have an S6 in one room, but in our main room, it's three operated D control. Cool. Still works all right. As in Pro Tools, they're still looking after it, aren't they? Maybe a thing to wait for stems from Composer. Maybe a thing to wait for stems from Composer. I don't think there are stems. I'm pretty sure this is tracks. His mate's tracks. I'm trying to remember because he we we talked months ago. I'm pretty sure he's got these music tracks are all his mate's bands or something like that. So we're not going to get stuck. We need some like wide glitchy stuff, don't we? All right, we're going to go back. We need, I'm going to go with fly, fire breathing. Flame whoosh maybe. What's a flame burst? Flame burst is probably the right word for it, eh? Tricky, it is tricky. That's why I've, that's why I've got got you all here. Let's try that too. This one's a bit slower. That might work a bit better. Fireball. Yes, fireball is also what it would be called. Fire torch is what. But actually, fire whoosh is right. Sick. It's too full on, but yeah, that'll do. According to Avid, the D control met its end of support four years ago, but it still works. Yeah, that's awesome. What are they going to do if one day it just doesn't work? I guess you and every other studio will be just running down the road to buy an S6. Can you do that? Can you just go down the road and buy an S6? You could probably buy an S6 easier than you can buy a toilet paper in, in Australia. I don't like the, should we just go with a normal sniff and then put in a normal glitch? I think these need to be pitched down. Let's just print that because I'd already pitched them down. It'd be easier if we just did that. Both. What transition thing do you think we should use here, Ben? You can if you're happy with 30 boxes in your studio for the setup. 
Yeah, what do you do with all that cardboard afterwards? Use it for toilet paper. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll have to wrap this up soon. I've got to go pick up my kid. What do we need? Some sort of glitch there. And Ben, what do you think for the transition here? What do we need? It's transitional here. What about a cymbal swirl? Avid comes by our studio quite regularly. Apparently, we have the most Matrix units. Noise. Big fan. Don't have the budget. Can you play it back? Yes, sorry, I'll give you a bit of space too. Oh, what, what about just the old record? It's cliche, but it works. Play the transition a few times. Oh, geez, mate. How needy are you? No, I'm kidding. Thoughts? Needs a dub, a dumb sub drop. Yeah, a dumb sub drop. That's what you said. We could do that to emphasise the downbeat anyway, but there's just no like visually. There's already like a decent kick in there. We could put a bass drop, but. That would almost just sound like it's in the music. I'm just thinking more. What happened to our record? Record. It's called Scratch, right? Or do we just want the record slowing? Even just the short one of those. Start of that. That but short. Sound like wiki, wi, wi, wiki, wiki, what? As in like a person singing like, wiki. Michael Jackson, is that, is that what you're thinking? Scratch a work or something low, scratch with a doubled three octave down the subs. So you want that, but pitch down, is that what we're suggesting? All right, going all over the place here. Like how sharp and jarring that is. Mm. 
You think it's too long? No, we're short, isn't it? Ah, oh, no, bugger. I don't mind how long it is, personally, but, you know, I'm not the boss here anymore. You guys are. Hmm, maybe some camera flashes in this bit instead of like fireworks. Or do we go back to the go back to the fireworks? We've just had the fireworks. Fast camera flashes. Be pat how you pet spell paparazzi? How do you spell paparazzi? That's definitely not it. But how do you spell paparazzi, somebody? Paparazzi, paparazzi. Oh, what's going on? There we go, paparazzi. It's my favorite pasta. Too slow, chat. I got there. Got there on my my own back. Look at me. I'm such a big boy. Such a big boy. I think that could work. That's pretty key. Hey, that's a long sound effect. How long are they expecting? Paparazzi to be shooting. What's my picture? We probably don't need the sniff as well, do we? That's kind of cool, isn't it? Does that work? Do we need some, like, some uh, swooshes in there just to throw us off? Maybe a swoosh at the end to bring us out of that. Nah. All right, dudes, I think I'm going to have to call it. We're doing well. We're getting through it. What are we at? We're really not getting through it. We're, <laughs> we're about halfway through. Cool. We're going to have to keep punching along through this anyway, but look. We're all good. Uh, how are we going? Scene 10. How many scenes have we got? We're about halfway through. Thanks so much, guys, for joining. It's been so good. I want to thank, what have we got? Weaver, you've been so helpful. Mello's been so helpful. Ben Co, you've been so helpful. Who else have we got in here? More Music's been so helpful. B-Foot, 
clipping stuff. Bald as is gone, but he's been a legend as well. Really appreciate you guys just chiming in, sharing some ideas. It's been awesome. This collaborative thing rocks my world. I'm loving it. Uh, tell your mates, hit that heart button at the top to follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube. Share it with your mates. Come and join me here on Twitch for the conversation. See you, B-Foot. Thank you very much, mate. It's great to see you all and we will see you. I'll be on it again tomorrow. So let's get this sweet web series finished. All right, guys, thank you very much.